My name is Michael Cheshire and I've been working in the field of anaerobic digestion and biogas for the last 40 years and now I'm a visiting professor at the University of Southampton. It is my passion. Anaerobic digestion or biogas technology is a natural biological process which recycles organic materials into energy and into fertiliser. That is the solid digestate which is a beautiful soil conditioner but it's actually quite nutrient rich because it smells of ammonia and biogas is about 60% methane and 40% carbon dioxide. In other words, it's 60% pipeline gas in, in, in quality terms. The organic materials which we feed to anaerobic digesters are what we actually call feedstock as a short form. And there are four, generically, four sorts of feedstock for anaerobic digestion. There's sewage sludge, which is generated on sewage works across the UK. There is food waste coming from households and from retail and from commercial food factories. Um, there is animal manure, which is uh, generated on farms, and also crops are actually grown specifically for anaerobic digestion in a natural rotation. We are at a research facility, which is a pilot plant for researching different types of feedstock for anaerobic digestion, so this is quite a small anaerobic digester we're standing in front of now. And here, the feedstocks are mostly animal manures as well as grass cuttings. And because it's a small research project, the material comes in these green and red boxes, these what we call dough labs. And those dough labs contain cattle manure, poultry manure, grass cuttings. And the way that we process in this building is that the dough labs containing the feedstock are picked up by the forklift and they're tipped into the hopper. And the hopper then contains a day's supply of feedstock for the anaerobic digester. And underneath the hopper, there's an inclined screw and the screw then gently moves that material into the digester on an automatic process. This is the anaerobic digester itself, which is a below-ground plug flow digester, which is an innovation which has been developed in Shropshire, um, which contrasts significantly with the traditional type of anaerobic digester, which is a big tower, which is what we call a continuous stirred tank reactor. In this plug flow digester below ground, the material enters from that auger feeder which we saw inside the building, is actually screwed into the body of the digester so that then the feedstock is then processed slowly through the digester from one end of the digester to the other end of the digester with a retention time of about 50 days which gives you maximum contact between the feedstock coming in and the microbes actually doing the anaerobic digestion work. What we see here is the concrete tank which is actually buried two metres below the ground, which holds the feedstock as a slurry. And then on top of the concrete tank, we actually have the cover, which contains the biogas. You see we've actually got a, a flexible cover here, which contains the biogas. And you can see there the pipe, which takes the biogas from the green cover to the white bubble in the background, where, which is our gas storage vessel. In this room, we can see how the biogas is used for energy production. We've got on this site, we've got four uses for the biogas. The first is actually there's a pipeline which goes from that small gas meter there that goes to the house about 50 meters away where there's an agar cooker and the biogas is actually used directly for feeding that agar. The second use for the biogas in here is that we can see here we've got a little engine which is what we call a combined heat and power unit which is, produces electricity and heat from the biogas. And thirdly, in this room, we have a biogas boiler, which is, produces heat. Some of that heat is used for the anaerobic digestion process itself. And the rest of that heat is then used to heat district heating among, around the buildings about 50 metres away again. The fourth use for biogas we'll see when we go outside. This is an innovative use of biogas. The biogas is upgraded in the green container where the biogas is scrubbed of its carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulphide and then compressed to 200 bar before being used to fuel the van. So the Marches in Worcestershire is actually the hub of the UK's anaerobic digestion technology expertise. There are more than five companies which have emerged from this area and currently there are more than 70 people employed even just near Ludlow working in anaerobic digestion. So anaerobic digestion has a potential to make a significant contribution to the UK's energy needs. One of the reasons being that biogas is such a flexible fuel because biogas can be used for cooking in its simplest form, it can be used for heat, it can be used for electricity generation and it can also be used for running vehicles. <laughs>